Lucan and Vladimir. Halloween time here at Disneyland is in full swing and we are here too. So we're we going to check some of the sweet treats. And the decorations. banana and orange in it also that tastes really good with whipped cream on top and of course the adorable mickey glow cube i love these mickey pumpkins and whipped cream now it usually has matcha powder on it but we didn't want to put that on it so i'm gonna dig in and make a huge mess oh yeah it was mostly whipped cream and it's good whipped cream it's almost more like a slushy than a smoothie. And the smoothie itself, I really don't think they've added any sugar into this, so that's a good thing. It's a solid choice. All of the fruit in here, it tastes like just real fruit is in here. It's very, it's more like a slushy than a smoothie. It's a three, it's a good three. That better melted into lava. Yeah, once it's 
Anakin had a fight with Obi-Wan Kenobi and he fell into the lava and he almost died in the lava which I get apparently was chocolate <laughs> now this is gonna be a cute little candy no a piece but they look so cute right and I already ate a lightsaber I hated him he melted into the chocolate now what we've got in here is like a parfait with chocolate cookie crumble on top and they are generous with it it's yummy then some like chocolate pudding or chocolate mousse and it looks like a ganache thing and this i forgot if it's cherry or raspberry it's red anyway vlad loves this one too if the red is cake also mm. that's a big bite man so what we've got here is crushed chocolate cream cookies chocolate pudding chocolate mousse and red velvet cake mm. there's this really great combination of textures with the crunchy chocolate chocolate on all these different variations you know chocolate mousse chocolate pudding chocolate cream filled cookies and red velvet cake 4.5 So we meet excellent another YouTubers. It's Nerdy Daydream. It's Nerdy Daydream. So be sure to check the YouTube channel. We'll put a drop link down below. And hey, don't forget thumbs up, likes, and share with your friends. Thank you. It looks, ah! <laughs> looks kind of like Yoda. Monstrosity. What's in? The, what? What are these? Blueberries. Probably. And lychee. You, you're supposed to eat eyes. Yeah, I'll eat an eye and you eat an eye. Okay, go ahead. Well, it, blind it immediately. Yeah, it's not nice when it's food staring at you. It's nice, it's dull whip with the like you says, with coconut. Alright, let's Very see. Leachy, but I Does still it make my teeth green? Yeah, coconut and pineapple always go really well together. Oh, you have something to freeze? Brain freeze. <laughs> okay. I hardly suffer with that problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I mean, this is really good. I'll, but I'll, I'll I, give it three. I'll give but it a three point five. You get there, right? No, I'll give it three. I think it's miss a little bit oh, okay. for me. Right here. <laughs> Are they different ones or the same? Nope. Huh? The same. They're the same. Oh, yum. Bye. 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 Yummy. No, there's none there. Okay. Let me break. Ooh, that's the prettier one. Yum. It's a pork. See? Mm. Alright, try it. I'll see what you think. Nice cement bread. Very flavor meat inside. Pork. So does it remind you then of the? There's mine. It's the same. Exactly the same. Three point five in this one. It's a three for me. I'll say um. No, I, I, it's not bad. I like it, but I'll give it maybe two and a half actually. It's a little bit dry. It's a little bit like thick. 
and tasty. Yeah. Whereas the other steamed buns that I've had, a little more juicy, you know? Um, there's, it's not very fatty though, actually. As fatty as like some of those other ones. So that's a good thing. And the steamed bun is not as fluffy as I'm used to. So what we have here is the ghost of Anaheim burger. I really like that they're paying tribute to Anaheim here. It has Angus beef and vegetable patty, ghost pepper salt severity sauce, pepper jack, green chili pico de gallo, cilantro lime cabbage slaw. So you was right, there are crispy onions here. Yep. Hopefully it's not as hot as that one slider thing. I don't think so. Okay. It's interesting. It is a beef and vegetable patty. So it's not pure meat, this patty. And mm. that gives got, it a different texture. You just got jalapeno. Nice. Start a little bit bite. Or ghost pepper. Yeah, it has a bite. Mm. It does feel like green chili. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Let's give it a little bit burn afterwards. Just a little bit. There is some ghost pepper in the sauce. But I see how it can be hot for some people. There is some ghost pepper in the sauce. It, it has a decent amount of heat. The heat is balanced out by there's some tartness, there's some creaminess in it. I really like the crunch of the slaw with the patty and it works well. The patty is a little softer texture. With the heat and everything, I think I like this one a lot. I'd eat this one again. For yeah. Sure. Oh yes. I'll give it about four. Four? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm with you there. So you need to have it like virtual, cute, get in right now. It's probably will change in the future. This is like the best running virtual queue I've ever had. So yesterday, I saw that garbage can up there. I was like, what the heck is that? It's part of the sleigh. Oh, it's a ski sleigh. It's yeah. part of the sleigh with the coffin. And the sheets, you see that yep. checklist. The checklist. Sugar, plum, visions, eggnog. It's also the perfect story that Jack Skellington, Jack the Pumpkin King, who tried to take over 
Christmas has taken over the Haunted Mansion. The Pet Cemetery will be a bit closer. I shall like Pet Cemetery closer so you can read it. Yeah, it was that's... a bit far and you cannot really see <laughs> the birds. I like this I'm, cat. I know, the cat and the birds. Was, that's like that really cat and a bunch of birds cool there as well. This is such a cool, unique scroll. The dead. <laughs> oh. Such a scare. here from Halloween Town. Lotus is handy scattered around. This year he's decided to play Sandy Cross. But with Halloween. Ah. It will float down no the hills and okay. keep a close watch on all children. Please. Ooh, yeah, it was slimy, yeah. More rapid than vultures, the mansion was changed. All was soon covered, adorned and deranged. And what to the wandering eyes disappears? It all looks so pleasant. A coffin, Jack says, makes a fine dream. As long as you don't get caught in its teeth. Mystery in there. better than last year it's more lights I think wow there's more lights and they're the red and the orange and the yellow and all together oh that's so beautiful I wish other people could have felt what I just felt because I walked around the corner and I saw that tree this is a Halloween tree it is based off of a book by Ray Bradbury called the Halloween tree now Ray Bradbury and Walt Disney were actually good friends. Ray Bradbury was a science fiction writer, a futurist, and he kind of helped with ideas and planning with Walt Disney with things in Tomorrowland. 
And so they were already very good friends. And he wrote the Halloween tree. And in honor of Ray Bradbury's contribution to Disneyland, Disney World, they dedicated this tree to him. to take the advice of Jack Skellington. We're on the way. Everybody scream! Everybody scream! Yep. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this video with us. Please remember, subscribe. And like. And share with your friends. And we'll see you next time.